Hello and welcome back to Quest Glory 4. Um, we are going to start our day like by talking with Mr. Punnybones, the gnome, who is a very unfunny gesture, uh, jester, rather. And a voice from behind the door says, Oops, sorry, seems I forgot about my burglar alarm. Hope it wasn't too shocking for you. How kind. Hello, how are you? Come in and have a set, why don't you? As you sit down, a rude noise comes from the chair seat. <laughs> Get you every time! A million laughs! How are you? Good to see you! Nice see you to drop in! Speaking of dropping in, did you hear the one about the bad waiter? Seems like he was always dropping in. Dropping in! Get it? Didn't think so. No one got a sense of humor anymore. <laughs> Not even me. Alright, let's, uh... Get through this painful conversation. Hey, welcome in to the inn. Pleased to meet you. Sit down, have a seat. Oh, we did that already, didn't we? <laughs> Tell about our Tell history. about some of your adventures. What was that you were saying about saving Spielberg? You tell about your adventures in Spielberg. So you're the guy that made me lose my sense of humor. Listen, if you hadn't made Baba Yaga mad, I never would have told the joke that made her take my humor away. Interesting. Let's investigate that a little bit. I ain't got no sense of humor. I can't get no sense of humor. And I try. Don't know why. Gotta fly. Say goodbye. Okay. What's the matter? You a music critic? So I can't tell a joke. Sue me. I'm comedically challenged. A feeb of a fool. A dweeb dunce. As a matter of fact, I've been cursed. I'm vexed with a hex, so to speak. Tell me about this Pathetic, curse. Pathetic, ain't it? I can't tell a joke if it kicked me in the teeth. Ever since I got Baba Yaga mad at me, I got the bad joke blues. She has no sense of humor whatsoever. Let me tell you, I was just telling the joke about how some hero got Baba Baby hopping mad and fit to be towed. How was I to know she was in the audience at the time? Anyhow, Baba Yaga stands up, says some bad poetry, and the next thing I know is my jokes are jumbled, and my puns are pathetic. So here I am in nowhere land, trying to locate Baba Yaga so as I can get the curse removed and my humor returned. I see. All right, so I guess we understand why he's such a terrible comic at this point. Putin Kane, ask me again, I'll tell you my name. Seriously, folks, the name is Bones. Punny Bones. I'm just a jester, professionally speaking, of course. Hey, I'm a professional fool, so don't try this at home, kid. Unfortunately, more people laugh at me than at my jokes lately. It's hard to be hilarious when your sense of humor is defunct. Seems fair. Punny, you should ask about that. Making jokes is in my bones, make no bones about it. But my puns have been sort of boneheaded lately. Tell us about the this place area. This is really dead, you know. I've had a livelier audience in a graveyard. What do they know about humor? They think a guy falling into a mud puddle is a major joke, like lots of yucks. Huh? Now, a man being tripped into a mud puddle, that's comedy. Heard anything about town? What do I hear? Oh. Let me see. Well, the talk of the town is you. No one knows how you got here or what you're doing. And they're still all a bit leery of strangers. You should see some of the looks they give me. You'd think they never saw a gnome before. Or you, for that matter. All right. Fair enough. Well, let's say goodbye, and maybe we can figure out a way to help the jester. Nice to see a friendly face around here. Catch you later, dud. So I ask you, what do you call a dinosaur crashing into a wall? Late for supper, of course. <laughs> See you later, crocodile. Oh, goodness. He is a mess. Alright. Let's head out to town. 
The werewolf threat has ended. Since you have found and rescued Igor, I have released our gypsy prisoner. It seems it was not a werewolf after all. All the peasant fears were for nothing. All right, yeah, so we just had to wait until today, which means probably there's some more to talk about now. You say hello. You are a very polite person. Perhaps I should learn some manners from you for dealing with strangers. Maybe not the worst idea. To tell the Burgermeister about how much you want to be a hero. I am beginning to think that you must be quite a hero already. Aww. So sweet. The Gypsy has no doubt returned home to his people. They have an encampment to the east. I will be able to get a real night's sleep for once. I do not have to worry that the prisoner will be harmed or that he will escape now. The people of this town will settle down again. They cried so loudly for blood because they are tired of living so long in the shadow of fear. Remarkably understanding statement from him. There is a rumor that perhaps I was mistaken in trying to drive you away from Mordavia. That perhaps you are the hero you claim to be. But you know how rumors are. You cannot always trust what you hear. Fair enough. Alright. Take care. Let's quickly hop over to Electric Cranium. Oh good, we don't do that anymore. And just make sure there's nothing to add and restock our poison cure pills. I have done it! The world shall not soon forget the genius of Dr. Cranium! The experiment is a success! Behold! Frankie! Ho ho ho! Is she not something? I'm looking forward to an exhilarating series of experiments with her. That has a creepy tone to it. Ah, a very nice Frankie, I'm sure you will agree. Just as I planned. I believe she has all the assets necessary to become a premier scientific laboratory assistant. You say hello to the scientist. Frankie has been helping to keep me company in your absence. Still, it is good to have you visit. Always happy to help. Let's see what uh, tales we can tell about Mordavia. Talk about your explorations on Mordavia and the many amazing creatures you've encountered. Yes, that is the way of the true scientist. Do not rely on what others have told you, but experience them for yourself. I am glad that you are finding your vacation in Mordavia an educational experience. Vacation, all right. Uh, let's see. I am a genius! <laughs> I shall be famous everywhere! There have been others who have worked on the reanimation of dead tissue, but no scientist has a Frankie like mine! Woohoo! Pee! Science? Ha! You ask me about science? Just look at Frankie there and you will understand the purpose of science! Fair to acquire enough. the knowledge of the very nature of life itself and to create what those less informed would call miracles with that knowledge. Uh, let's get some Here you are. What? Oh, Here you are. Okay. Anything else to add? This poor, benighted, unscientific town used to be a thriving community. Lately, however, the birth rate has dropped and anyone careless enough to be caught out at night tends not to return. The heavy rains of the last few years have also put a damper on the local economy. The only road out of the valley has become covered by an endless and impassable swamp. I have not received a single delivery of scientific equipment this year. It is terrible. I'm very sorry for you. <laughs> is she not a wonder? My Frankie, fully functional in every way. In fact, I imagine she could even, you know, when you... I am sorry, but I really cannot reveal the nature of the experiments Frankie and I intend to perform. The world may not yet be ready for them. 
More importantly, I do not want anyone else taking credit for my results. Besides, Frankie is a little shy. <laughs> Alright, slightly regretting talking to him, but uh, we'll head out now. See? I trust you will continue to do... Do not be concerned if you should be unable to reach me during the next few days. Frankie and I shall be engaged in some very important and engrossing scientific research. You are truly terrifying, Dr. Prenium. Okay, we do have a key to the crash. You know what? There's something else I wanted to do. I wanted to... One thing you can say about Mordavi. That's fine. We don't need to hear all that pleasantry. Wanted to stop in and uh, just see if Olga has any rumors for us as well. I suppose you heard that the gypsy didn't kill Igor after all. Dmitry has set the gypsy free. No good will come of it. You mark my words. The man was clearly a werewolf. Fair enough. So, you haven't been eaten yet. <laughs> we'll see how long you last traipsing about everywhere when you should be staying in this nice, safe town. Uh, let's tell tell about Olga about what you've been done. doing. And be sure and keep me informed. I need to know everything that goes on around here. Someone's got to have a clue after all. Okay, uh, I want to buy some things quickly. Um, as of right now, I think the only thing I want to get is the oil flask. And the rest of it we'll wait until we have a specific reason for it. But let's see if she heard any new rumors. Now, what would you like? Dr. Cranium is a very strange man. No one knows what goes on in the back room of his house, except maybe Igor, and he won't talk about it. Someday, the mad doctor will blow us all off with one of those experiments of his. You mark my words. I can believe that. You see, there used to be a very active adventurer's guild here in town. But it's been empty and locked up since I can remember. Our burgomaster is named Dimitri. He is responsible for keeping order in the town. And he is very serious. But there was some scandal about his grandmother. But it was hushed up. How do I learn more about this? Word has it that you rescued the grave digger, buried alive in his own grave with a gruesome thought. Why, if you hadn't come across him, who knows what would have happened to him? Well, the gypsy may not have eaten the grave digger, but that still doesn't explain why he was hanging around town. We'll all be eaten by that werewolf yet. Nikolai. They say Nikolai went off to look for Anna for the last time. <sighs> Maybe they're together again somewhere. I think they might be. I'm curious if she'll tell me anything different. Our burger no. Okay, well, perhaps we'll have a chance to talk to her more about that later. As my husband used to say, come back again, sunshine or rain. Fair enough. I would like to finally get a chance to go talk to these gypsies. And we also now have a reason to try and talk to Baba Yaga, see if we can't help get Honey Bones back his Hello. sense of humor. If you remember, um, I didn't mean to do any of that. Uh, when, uh, Bonehead... Oh, good. You know what? Let's, let's try this. It's kind of fun sometimes. Oops. Let the computer see what it can do. I'd say the computer did 
better than I usually do, but not by a great deal. Let's cure ourselves again. The only effect. And continue on. So yes, Bonehead told us not to bother coming back until we had a reason to do so. So let's see if uh, this guy Greetings wants to be Greetings and our welcome friend now. to our camp. You are a stranger hey, no right. longer. When you saved me from death, our lives became intertwined. Henceforth, you are to be known as a gypsy friend. <laughs> nice. Come now, I will take you to the leader of our camp. The one my son spoke of. You saved his life. You also entered fearlessly into our den of wolves. You are a man of great courage. We gypsies owe you for our daily, and I believe we will owe you for things to come. Welcome. I am the fortune teller. I will teach you a spell. It will protect you against the dead that rise again. I think you will find this most useful in your questings. A gypsy fortune teller touches your head briefly. Magic flows through you. Now you know the aura spell. Okay, so we have protection now, against the undead. let us learn more of you. Why have you come here? And what do you seek? For an outsider, you are most polite. Now let's tell her our name. To tell the gypsies your name. We are honored to know your name. It is a good name, a strong name. <laughs> you bear it well. Thanks, Davy. Um, all right, let's tell about ourselves. You tell about how you got here. The dark cave. You escaped from there? Ah, oh, you are very powerful and lucky. I would guess that a summoning spell went wrong. That cave interferes with all magic around here. But it is best not to speak of that cave. Someone brought you here for some unknown purpose. Hmm, most interesting. <laughs> The scary dream you tell her about the frightening dream. Dreams are messages. Such a message may be obscure or meaningful, depending upon the sender and the dreamer. The meaning of this dream may be clearer when you have had more of them. Okay, so we should try to pursue some more of those dreams. How about the gnome? You tell about the gnome and his problems. Hmm, interesting. Baba Yaga has returned only recently to this valley. We have had scent of her to the far south. But the path to her hut is blocked by magic. You will need to find a way past that magical barrier. Looks like we already did. Um, okay. Let's chat. We gypsies are not werewolves. We are shapeshifters. We take on the form of wolves for hunting. Useful trick. You can call me Davy. Names are very important. Davy is my name to outsiders. I also have a gypsy name and a true name. True names are not given lightly. Gypsies never ask others for their names. Never say your true name. Never speak the true name of another. <laughs> to say another's true name aloud gives you power over him. If you are indeed more powerful. Otherwise, it gives him power over you. Interesting. We are roving traders. Our home is our wagon and campfire. 
We would have left this valley long ago if the flooding had not washed away the road and filled the mountain pass with swamp. The road from the town used to lead to the pass to the southwest. That was the only way in and out of this valley. The swamp is an ill place, and we gypsies stay far from it. Seems fair. It's where the reaching dead arms were, so... I was borrowing <laughs> some corn from the corn stalks outside the town when the Burgomeister and some townsmen came from the gate. I moved behind the corn stalks to stay out of their way. They looked to be heading to the graveyard. Then, one of them pointed at me and shouted, and suddenly, they all grabbed me. I had no chance to run. I had no idea what was going on. I knew gypsies were disliked in the village, but I did not know we were so feared. Fear can make people do many things. There are many legends about that ogress. We gypsies avoid her when we can. She is dangerous to enemies, and she takes offense easily. She has her hut to the south. There is some sort of magic hiding the pathway there. Her only weakness is her love of food. Be careful if you need to approach her. yourself I have been gifted by true sight and foreknowledge these are gifts with knife edges oh I have seen my own death and knew my true love's death the day I met him still it is most useful I will read your fortune in the cards if you wish you have only to cross my palm with silver so much for the legends about werewolves, huh? Or at least, a coin of value. But I warn you, no future is fixed. What the cards show of the future can happen, but only if you take the actions to create this future. And it is not easy to determine what those actions are, dear. Such is life. Sounds like a guess, but okay. This valley has always been a nexus of power. Magic is very strong here. My people for generations come here to renew and strengthen their ties to the mystical ways. My dear, we are not the only ones drawn by this power. The magician Irana created a magical refuge here. Others, more dark, were drawn here as well. Oh, be wary and watchful at all times here. The magic of this land has become twisted, and there are many dangers around you. Oh. Let's hear a little bit more about it. There are many places and things of magic around here, and I am certain you will come across them in your travels. Irana was a powerful magician who came from this area. There is a garden in the forest which she created. Oh, it is such a place of safety for all who visit there. It is said that her final resting place is near here as well. Her staff stands in the town and protects those within the walls from outside harm. That's interesting to know. Pretty much every place we've gone, we've come across Arana, and now um, we know that she's actually from Mordavia. There are many places. There are some things about which even I dare not speak. Even thinking about such creatures attracts them. Let us hope that you never need know of such matters. Not as helpful as I would have liked, but okay. Hear some more about werewolves. Creatures of the night, shapeshifters, skin changers. We are man or beast by our own will. To run on four legs, to howl at the moon, to chase the terrified prey through the hills. This is what it is to be truly alive. Oh, 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 oh. oh 
the legend of the werewolf is but a folk tale. We change our shape when we choose. Not because the moon is in some silly phase. We are the beast with the mind of a man, and a man with the mind of a beast. It is not normally our way to speak so freely to outsiders. So why do I say so much to you? Because you need to know we are not your enemies. You have too many questions that cannot be answered. And your ignorance may be your doom. There is much to you. Your actions to come will affect us all. Do not doubt it. Therefore, I will speak honestly and openly on what I can. Now, I can see by your eyes that our future is linked to you for weal or woe. Um, tell me about the gypsies and so We so. are the roving people, the tinkers and traders and tellers of fortunes. We are the dancers in the night and the music in the wilderness. We are the untamed ones who live only by our own rules. We own no land and no land owns us. The world is ours for the travel. You may call me Magda. That is the name I go by with you, Gorgios. Gorgio is the word we call anyone who is not a gypsy. It did not sound like her voice. Um, okay. So, we are going to run a coin across her palm to have our fortunes read, but um, I'm actually going to end things here, and we will have to do that in the next video. So, I will see you next time where we will start by having our fortunes read. Alright, see ya. Bye.